Hello and welcome to this reading, this powerful reading of an overview of 2024 with Archangel Michael. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. So what we're going to do today, we're going to have a good look at 2024 month by month from January right through to December. And we're going to pull a card from this amazing deck for each month. I'm also going to channel Archangel Michael to bring in the right message for the right month at the right time. Now, this will resonate with you if you just want an angel message or if you're a twin flame wanting guidance on your journey. We're going to see what we need to know. And Archangel Michael, if you're not familiar with him, is so strong and powerful. He's the thought of heaven. He's the one who helps us to stand strong in our power and our truth. And he helps us through decisions. He helps us to move forward. He helps us in many, many amazing ways. And he's going to come through today with some amazing guidance about the year ahead. And 2024 is going to be an amazing year. A year of success. It's a year of potential. A year of protection. A year where things are moving into place and coming into fruition. So it's exciting to connect month by month and see what we need to know. And I will timestamp the the messages month by month. So if you just want to kind of flip forward to your birthday, for example, like my birthday is in July, and click on the timestamp for July in the description box and it will take you straight there. But we're going to work through this month by month, card by card. So thank you, angels. Thank you, Archangel Michael. What do we need to know for 2024? So we're going to pull a card for January. Straight out. Look at that. Wow. So the energy around January then, we've got you on the right path. Now, this is really powerful. So as we start the new year, we are on the right path. As we start the new year, the angels are showing you wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you are on the right path. It doesn't matter if you haven't made the changes yet that you want to make or you're not in the career yet that you want to make or do or you're not with the person you want to be with yet. You're on the right path to it. You're on the right path in January to achieving your dreams. And Archangel Michael is leading the way. He's helping you and he's showing you the way, saying, come this way. So I feel in January, you're going to know that you're on the right path. You're going to feel good about it. You may see signs about it. You may see the number 717, which is such a powerful symbol and number sequence saying to you, you're on the right path. So we can pray in January. We can say, Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. So anything you're going through in January, call an Archangel Michael and it will help you to feel strong and safe and to know you're on the right path. Archangel Michael, thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance. Loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. So I feel that you're going to receive messages and signs and number sequences and symbols in January that you're able to easily understand to know that you're on the right path. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for motivating me. And filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthy life changes. So you're going to be making healthy life changes in January. Now that may be within yourself. Especially when we indulge a bit at Christmas time in December. We may go on a health kick in January. We may want to change our diet. We may cut chocolate out or alcohol or other things. But this is knowing that you are strong enough to leave behind you whatever you want to. Whether it's a food or a beverage, an addiction or something you've been doing for a long, long time. You have the power to make healthy life changes in January. And I definitely feel this is starting the year as you want it to go on. Setting intentions. This could be about making those New Year resolutions and following through on that. So I also feel this is about moving away from the things that aren't resonating with you or aren't serving you. Such as... Someone you may be in the wrong kind of relationship with or maybe you're doing the wrong kind of job for you or you're just not feeling it anymore with something. It's time to move on from that to do something new. So you're on the right path, whatever changes you're being guided to make and whatever you are intuitively being guided to do. Now, let's connect with February. Thank you, angels. So 
What do we need to know in February? These cards are flying out well. In February, your home is protected by angels. So if there's something going on in February, you are protected. You're protected wherever you are, wherever you live, wherever you are traveling to. Home is not a place or a building or a location. It's a feeling. It's a feeling of knowing wherever you are, you are safe. And your home is also your physical self. The place where you reside inside yourself, where your spirit and soul are, your body. So I feel this is your home, the place you live is protected, your body is protected, your journey as you move around your life is protected by angels and you've been shown that in February. So there could be some things going on and obviously we all live all over the world so different things are happening, there could be some events taking place in the world that you may be a little bit afraid of. And you're being shown that you, your physical self and your home, where you live, your loved ones, the people you care about, are protected by angels. People you are thinking about are protected by angels. And if you're worried about someone specifically, or you're calling on the angels for yourself, you can call on them to be with them straight away. Archangel Michael will be with you and anyone else that you call on because Archangel Michael, like other archangels, are non-denominational. They can be with everyone at the same time to assist that. God created them that way. So you and your home and your body and everyone you're thinking of is protected in February. And I do feel there could be some world events going on that may bring up fear. There could be some catastrophes taking place. There could be some fires. There could be some, you know, tornadoes there could be some weather issues there could be some war there could be things going on that bring in fear and we are being shown today that we are protected during those times you may be going through something where you're afraid to move maybe you want to move or maybe you're afraid of having the money to move maybe you're worried how you're going to pay your bills maybe you're thinking about homelessness or you're thinking about someone who is homeless you are protected so the angels are there and everything you're going through is for life, purpose and journey. And remember, you're on the right path. So maybe you're thinking, right, I need to move house or I need to make a change. And you're worrying about how you're going to afford to or how you're going to pay your bills or anything else. You'll be taken care of. You are safe. So you can pray and say, Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me. Thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. So if you've got children, they are protected by angels. If you have a partner, protected by angels. Family. If you have worries about a mum, a dad, or someone in your immediate family or friends, protected by angels. When you ask, it is given. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. So if you're worried about anything to do with your home flooding or being burgled or anything like that, call on the angels. They will guide you. Thank you, angels, for guiding my finances so I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage or taxes. So if you're worried about you paying your mortgage or your tax bill or your rent or food or gas, electric, any of those things, give it to heaven. You'll always receive what you need when you pray for it because God is your source. You may want to call on Archangel Michael directly for the strength to get through these times. You may want to call on Archangel Ariel to assist you with money, resources, opportunities and anything you may need in the material world. And I feel that it could be a challenging month in February, but you'll get through it because you are strong. So let's connect with March. What's happening in March? These cards are flying out. Lean on God and the angels for support. Very powerful. So whatever you're going through during March, you have support. You are not alone. So you can call on God and the angels for support at any time. And you can lean on them. Dear God and angels, I give you this situation now and completely. So anything you are going through in March, anything that's on your mind, it could be connected with health. It could be connected with love. It could be connected with work could be a family situation or a situation with friends. could be anything that you're going through. You can give this situation now and completely to heaven in exchange for peace. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. So there is always a reason for everything that takes place in our lives. 
when we step out of the way, we're able to allow the universe to step in. When we step out of the way, we're able to see things clearly. Sometimes we're so close to a problem, we can't see it clearly. So we just need to take that step back or zoom out a little bit to get a clearer understanding of what's going on. So you remember you are not alone. You have support and help around you from heaven. And when you call on God and the angels for support, they may send you in physical support. It could come in as receiving a monetary amount or receiving a resource that you need. Or it could be a helping hand from someone or advice from a stranger. Someone knocks on your door at the exact right moment you need something. You'll be given what you need when you ask for it. So during March, lean on God and the angels for support. So what's happening in April? Straight out. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. You've done nothing wrong. So don't take things personally during April. Call on the angels to help you to forgive yourself and anyone else that you may be dealing with. You've done nothing wrong. You are a child of God. You've come here to learn and grow. There's no mistakes. There's only lessons that lead to blessings. I ask that you help me to let go of self-blame and forgive myself. So forgive yourself for anything that you need to. Don't blame yourself for things or go over things. It just robs you of your happiness in the now. Angels, please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. So during April, Archangel Michael will help you to feel more centered and more at peace by taking away any anger, any fear, any struggle that you may be going through. And forgive yourself and feel free and be at peace. Now, during May, what do we need to know? What do we need to know for May? We've got a favorable outcome. Wow. So whatever's going on, whatever you've been praying about, whatever you've needed to forgive yourself for, you're going to feel in May that something good has come of that because everything happens for a reason. So there will be a favourable outcome in May and I feel it's going to be a balanced outcome. It's going to feel good. It's going to feel like a really powerful month for you. You're going to feel more balanced and more aligned with things. You're going to feel that things are working out. Remember in January... You're on the right path. I feel in May, you're going to know it. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. So I definitely feel there's going to be some personal resolutions, things happening during May. May is going to be a powerful one. There could be some people coming into union in May, receiving rewards in May. Feels like May is going to be a really potent month for success and rewards, financial rewards, rewards in love, rewards for remaining positive, rewards for trusting the journey, for having faith in God and for talking to heaven. A favourable outcome will be given. So what's happening in June? What's happening in June? Look how they're jumping out. Wow. You're guarded and protected. So whenever you're going through in June, wherever you go, whatever you do, remember you are guarded and protected. Archangel Michael is with you. Archangel Raphael, the healing angel, is helping you to heal, to feel good physically, to get through anything you go through. Angels, thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we are safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. So there's a real theme coming through for 2024, where when you ask, it is given. When you talk to the angels, you're going to receive everything that you need and want, that you are guarded and protected, whatever's going on. So whatever's happening around you during June, you are guarded and protected. Call on the angels and allow yourself to accept things allow yourself to receive things allow yourself to allow things give yourself permission to be happy give yourself permission to feel safe affirm i am safe i am protected i am exactly where i am meant to be all is well in my world and everything is working out for me and when you use affirmations in that way great things come in so let's connect with July. What's happening in July? Jump straight out. 
Your children are watched over by angels. So maybe you've got kids and your kids are going somewhere. They could be going on a school trip. They could be older. They could be going traveling. They could be moving away from home. They could be going off to college or university. They could be getting married. They could be starting a new life somewhere. They are watched over by angels. So remember, at some point, you have to let your children go their own way, do their own thing and make their own mistakes because they are lessons, because they are learning. And whether you are wanting kids, if you're wanting to bring a child into the world, that child will be up there in heaven being watched over by angels until it's ready to come into the womb. And you are a child of God and you are also watched over by angels. So also remember to connect with your own inner child and to have some fun. So July will be a time to be playful and have fun and do what makes your heart sing. Dear guardian angels of my children, born and unborn, thank you for watching over any children and ensuring their happiness and their safety. And I'm really connecting with that any children, children of the world. All children of the world are protected. Doesn't matter how old or young they are. We're all children of God. Please guide me so I know the best ways to be a good parent and a role model for my own and other people's children. And we also reparent ourselves during our life. We reparent our inner child. We give back to ourselves. We remember that our connection with our self and source are the most powerful connections of all. So this is about being good to one another. Being kind and loving and gentle will see you through. So what's happening in August? Straight out. Believe and trust. Wow, and they're saying believe and receive. So when you believe that you are safe and that all the things you're asking for are coming and you trust in them and you trust in God, you'll receive. And this is about being shown the way. Archangel Michael is showing you wherever you are, he's already in front of you. He's walking beside you, with you, moving obstacles out of the way, creating the way and making sure you are safe. And we're always guided through our intuition and our dreams and the signs that we see. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage and confidence. And it feels like you may be having more vivid dreams during this month. You may be feeling you understand things. You're recognising things more. Things are making a lot more sense to you in August because you've been shown signs through dreams. And that's giving you strength, courage, vitality, confidence and power. So the more confident you are during August time, the more courage you'll have and the more strength you'll have. And you'll be filled with those things and that will buoy your faith and give you power. So I feel you may even see the numbers 111 as a sign to believe. You may see 333 as a sign to have faith and to trust in God and the plan for your life. So things are moving forward during August time and I feel you're being shown signs and synchronicities and previews of what's to come in dreams. You may even be dreaming more about your personal big things are taking place. Let's see what's happening in September. In September, jumping out, look at this, be gentle with yourself. So be gentle with yourself in September. There may be some harsh energies around, don't take things personally, be kind, compassionate and loving, especially with yourself. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, everything I speak and everything I do. Help me to know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so I may experience lasting inner peace. So a great month for compassion and empathy and understanding, a great month for soul growth and learning, a great month to expand your spiritual knowledge, to know that you deserve love, that you deserve happiness, that you deserve good things and release any feelings of guilt or struggle or worry in exchange for peace, to feel more at ease. Take your time. You may find that you want to meditate, maybe you're going on holiday or retreat or you're having more time for you and you're feeling good. Because you're relaxing about things, you're more in the present moment, you're more flexible to things. And because of that, things are working out. So what's the energy coming in around October time? What's the energy coming in around October time? What do we need to know for October 2024? There we go. 
this situation is already resolved. Wow. So there's going to be another resolution taking place in October. So I'm definitely feeling May, June time, October, November time, things are falling into place. I give any worries, cares and concerns. And they're also giving me the word concert. So I feel someone may be attending a concert and that could have a significant effect on something. So I feel someone's maybe watching who may be going to a concert in October and maybe something big is going to happen there. Like there's, you're going to have a meeting with someone, you could run into your twin flame, something is happening, something that leads to success. I feel I have to say that too. But you can affirm, I give any worries, cares and concerns to you in exchange for true peace in all ways. Thank you for resolving this situation in a divinely perfect way. So during this month of October, things are going to be resolved. There's going to be communication coming and I feel that there's going to be a resolve in some way. So if there's been long separations, they're coming to an end. And I feel this is more than that. It feels like if there's been family disputes or family arguments, or maybe you haven't seen someone in your family for a long, long time, there's going to be an opportunity for a resolution around October. There's going to be an opportunity to clear the air, sort things out and begin again. So I feel a rebirth energy coming in around October. So what do we need to know for November? What do we need to know for November, please, Archangel Michael? What do we need to know for November? Look at this. Take your time making a decision. So there could be some decisions, some serious decisions coming in in November. Archangel Michael, please help me to stay strong and relaxed as I approach this situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. So there's no need to rush in if you want to make a decision during November. Take your time, observe and see it in a higher way and you'll know exactly what to do. Take your time and everything else will work out. And what do we need to know for December? Look at this. Wow. Preparing for a new beginning and a fresh start. Now that's really powerful as we get ready for 2025. A new beginning and a fresh start. You're going to feel that way. Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. So I definitely feel as we prepare for the new year in December, as we prepare for January 2025, we're going to be making changes and making decisions. Just like we always do where we are starting to think about the new year and what we want to do and achieve and we may be already thinking about new year resolutions maybe ending things to begin again in a new direction, that's absolutely what's coming in. So it feels like December 2024 is going to be the end of a cycle for January 2025 to be start the start of something big. Amazing changes, rising above the old, rising out of the, the ashes, starting again. You know, I feel this is also like not taking things personally and feeling empowered, feeling strong, feeling ready for what's to come. So that's an angel overview of the whole year. We're going to be doing a twin flame overview in the next reading. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.